This case consider the issue of tracing into a mixed fund and retention of title clauses and whether or not a supplier of raw materials to be used in a manufacturing process could obtain the equitable remedy of tracing in relation to the finished goods as payment of the purchase price for the raw materials. In this case, a company supplied resin to a company that manufactured chipboard. The contract for the sale of goods specified that property in the resin did not pass until the resin had been paid for. The manufacturer, however, fell into financial difficulties and was unable to pay for the resin supplied and used in the manufacturing process. The supplier of resin therefore brought an action against the manufacturer seeking payment for the resin and argued that the proceeds from the sale of chipboard produced with the resin could be charged for payment of this outstanding sum. The manufacturers objected to this and argued that once used in the manufacturing process, the resin ceased to 